हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज क्रीनियोसिनोस्टोसिस नाउ लेट्स टेक द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ क्रीनियोसिनोस्टोसिस फर्स्ट वॉट यू मीन बाई क्रेनियम क्रेनियम मीन्स क्रेनियो मीन्स क्रेनियम एंड क्रेनियम इज योर स्कल ओके वॉट यू मीन बाई सिन एज आई हैड डिस्कस इन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो अबाउट सिंसिशियर ऑफ अ ब्लास्ट सिन मीन्स फ्यूजन and osteosis means ossification okay so what am i trying to say is that whenever there is a premature fusion right of skull sutures i would call it craniosynostosis now there are many sutures in our skull any one or it could be more than one okay so whenever the skull sutures they close prematurely that is known as craniosynostosis i would be discussing about the sutures but first you need to understand is that the sutures they have a time of closure they close one by one during early childhood if they close before that what is the problem that i'll face what is the problem with sin sin uh, craniosynostosis the problem is as you would be able to understand that wherever the suture has closed my skull won't be able to grow since the skull won't be able to grow the brain in that area will not be able to expand so this is definitely a problem right also this will give you a very disproportionate skull okay this will become clearer as we move ahead now let's uh, take the anatomical basis let's first understand what is suture we are going on saying that it's a premature fusion of one or of one or more than one skull sutures what are sutures sutures are fibrotic bands right when you are in the intrauterine life this for these uh, sutures are fibrotic bands which are connecting the skull bones right they are connecting the skull bones so let's understand them one by one if you look at this diagram this is a top view okay imagine a feet um, a baby looking at it from the top view this is anterior and this is posterior now these are basic anatomy terms okay so Uh, let's understand. These are your frontal bones. Now you might argue that there is only front one frontal uh, bone in us, but uh, when in your you are in your intrauterine life, there are two frontal bones. Okay, and they are separated by what? They are separated by this suture. What is this suture? This is the metopic suture. What are these? These are your parietal bones. What are they separated by? They are separated by the sagittal suture. Right. Then what do you have? these are your lambdoid sutures this is your occipital bone so parietal is separated by the occipital bone by the lambdoid suture now what is separating the frontal from the parietal bone they are separated by the coronal suture so i have talked about four sutures what are they metopic coronal sagittal and lambdoid okay let's look at them from the side view again now this is the side view let's name the bones this is a frontal bone this is parietal this is temporal and this is occipital now let's mark the sutures what is this frontal and parietal separating the frontal from the parietal was the coronal so this must be a coronal suture now this is parietal and this is occipital what was separating them parietal was separated from occipital by the lambdoid suture so this must be the lambdoid suture now sagittal suture is not visible in this view but it must be somewhere here which was separating the two parietal bones and metopic must have been somewhere here okay so these are the two views now let's move on to craniosynostosis as a topic so yes craniosynostosis remember only two rules right rules that i want you to remember there are two rules the first rule is that whichever suture is closed perpendicular to it the skull won't grow 
and parallel to it the skull will grow right why will the skull grow as i had told you earlier it is just a compensation see the brain wants to grow the skull because of premature fusion is not allowing it to grow so it has to find one or the other way to grow right so compensatorily the skull will grow parallel to it okay let's move ahead let's see one of uh, each of these sutures one by one so let's first deal with cephalocephaly or cephaly whichever way you want to call it number one condition that i'm discussing with you is cephalocephaly this is a type of craniosynostosis okay number one is cephalocephaly so what is cephalocephaly when the sagittal suture closes prematurely so let's look at the diagram in this diagram yes in this diagram what has happened is as you can see the sagittal suture has closed before its time so can you imagine that these parietal bones won't allow the skull to grow in their direction which means if this was a suture what is perpendicular to it perpendicular to it is this this is 90 degrees to it okay so can you see that these bones have covered and they won't allow the brain to grow so at 90 degrees according to the rule which i had discussed discussed perpendicular to it the skull won't grow right the skull won't grow where has it grown it has grown parallel to it can you see the skull has grown parallel to it this was a sagittal suture which had fused early and the skull had grown in this direction only what is this direction this is parallel so can you see that the skull has become abnormally very long anterior posteriorly this is the term which is known as cephalocephaly this is only what is known as the long headed skull right because it has grown anterior posteriorly so this was sagittal suture cephalocephaly or a long headed skull next let's move on to another one which is brachycephaly okay let's move on to brachycephaly brachycephaly is a problem in the coronal suture right as you would recall the coronal suture was in between the frontal and the parietal bones okay i am adding one more term to it that is bilateral coronal suture okay i'll discuss the unilateral one later let's discuss bilateral first bilateral coronal suture if it uh, fuses prematurely i'll call it brachycephaly so yes um look at this look at this diagram what has happened is that the coronal suture should have been like this and it had fused so parallel to it the skull grows this was your coronal suture parallel to it the skull grows the skull has become very long in the transverse diameter okay so what am i calling it brachycephaly when you look at it from the front the skull is looking very small to you on the contrary if you see cephalocephaly the condition that i had discussed earlier it was very long anterior posteriorly right this was a long headed skull whereas this brachycephaly is a very small skull if you look from the front okay so what am i calling it brachycephaly or bilateral coronal suture fusion if it fuses early brachy means short so what is it a short headed skull okay this was the second condition now let's do the third condition the third condition is what do you call it the third condition okay so trigonocephaly is because of premature fusion of the metopic suture right the metopic suture was in between the two frontal bones if i draw it here in this diagram it was somewhere here okay now what i have done is i have prematurely closed it so 
can you see that the skull has grown like this okay the skull has grown like this what has it formed it has formed a trigone can you see the shape it is a trigone so what do i call it a trigonocephaly okay this is a trigonocephaly or a metopic suture prematurely closing now let's move on to another one that is known as plagiocephaly okay plagiocephaly okay so see what am i drawing right now are the sutures okay these are the sutures okay these are the sutures this is anterior this is posterior what is this anterior coronal this is an anterior coronal but if you look from above this is the right side and this is the left side all right just a second this uh, is the right side if you look from above okay this is the right and this is the left okay you're looking at the baby from above and then what is this this is lambdoid and this is lambdoid both are posterior but this is right and this is left now you need to understand that plagiocephaly can be of four types okay it can be of four types depending on these sutures if your left anterior or your left coronal fuses prematurely what will i call it i'll call it left anterior plagiocephaly okay because anterior because the coronal suture is located anteriorly left because the left coronal has fused prematurely similarly a right coronal fusing prematurely would be called a right anterior plagiocephaly okay so can you see that these are unilateral coronal suture fusion when it was a bilateral coronal suture fusion that is both left and right then i was calling it brachycephaly okay now again now let's see what happens when a left lambdoid fuses earlier when a left lambdoid fuses earlier i'll call it left posterior plagiocephaly okay so left because left has fused earlier lambdoid has fused earlier lambdoid is located posteriorly similarly a right lambdoid closing earlier would be called a right posterior plagiocephaly okay once again so these are the four types of plagiocephaly that can be there two anterior and two posterior left and right anterior left and left, right posterior okay based on coronal and lambdoid sutures respectively so let's try to look at them in a diagram see i had explained scapho i had explained brachy okay now look at this what is this this is a, a lambdoid suture was present over here but it has fused right it has fused so what will i call it a posterior plagiocephaly okay and you can also answer what posterior plagiocephaly in this diagram see the right one has fused earlier so i'll call it right posterior plagiocephaly now what about this one see this few this one has fused earlier okay and what was this a coronal suture so i can call it very well an anterior plagiocephaly and what anterior plagiocephaly this is on the left side so call it left anterior plagiocephaly okay now let's look at the another one yes so these are the various diagrams which are explaining them okay that's it that's all about craniosynostosis so if we would quickly revise what are they scapho if the sagittal suture was closing 
prematurely brachy if bilateral coronal was fusing prematurely and then plagiocephaly could be of four types right so these were the various craniosynostosis thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and leave a comment if you like this video thank you so much